And now that the latest polls show Ron Paul has a good chance of winning Iowa, his Republican rivals are spending more time pointing out Paul's record, especially when it comes to national security and foreign policy. Jack Hunter is an advisor to the Paul campaign and a conservative commentator. He writes a column for the Charleston City Paper in South Carolina. Jack, good to see you. Good to be with you. Well, of course, you know, when you're on top, all people are gunning for you. And one of the things that uh, Congressman Paul's uh, critics are, are, are claiming that he has really weak foreign policy uh, issues and a very almost dangerous take on how to handle those situations. Wendell Goler just reported, as you know, there is a tenuous situation happening right now with Iran where uh, they, Ahmadinejad is basically uh, threatening to strangle the Strait of Hormuz, basically blocking the passageway to 20 percent of the world's oil supplies. If he's saying, look, Washington, you put more sanctions on, on our oil production or our oil exports, I should say, and this is what's going to happen. So I ask you, if Congressman Paul were president today, how would he handle that? Well, if Congressman Paul were President Paul, we'd have the strongest national defense in the world. A nation like Iran would be no threat to the United States because we would remain the world's most powerful military superpower in the world. Now, a lot of people, as you point out, so, are sort okay, of how would you asking remain, questions about... Excuse me, how would you remain the most powerful military uh, force in the world when I know that Congressman Paul, one of the things that he says that you need to rein mm -hmm. in uh, military spending? Well, that's exactly right. What Congressman Paul points out is that we need to cut spending in this country to turn around the economy. The difference between Paul and the other Republican presidential candidates, he does, as you just noted, addresses Pentagon spending. His budget, his plan, okay. the first year, okay. which cuts Sir, one trillion dollars. Well, excuse me, Mr. one second. Hunter, cuts you know one what? trillion dollars We've heard does that. address We've Pentagon heard that spending. A lot. We've heard right. that, and that's not what I asked you specifically. I wanted to ask you about this the story that's in the news today, and you are here as sure. a surrogate for the congressman, and I wanted to know specifically, seeing that his critics are claiming that he's weak and perhaps dangerous on foreign policy. Right. I want to know how you would handle this tenuous situation that's taking place right now. Well, any, any potential threat that Iran would actually pose to the United States or our interest in that region would be met. The question we're asking, you're not framing the question correctly, are our interests at risk? And that's the question we don't ask often enough. That's what we didn't ask going into the Iraq war. And that's where people are well, starting to so overreact case, now. Sir, are, that's been are, Paul's are, point are, the whole time interest, that we might me, overreact. The question right now is not are our interests at risk. The question is, as you know, Ahmadinejad right. is right now showing and flexing his muscle as he always does. And Congressman Paul is on record saying that so what if Iran has nukes? This guy is dangerous. And that is part of what his critics are saying, that he needs to be more, um, have a better, uh, more realistic attitude and approach to handling Iran. Well, and that's what I'm saying is that what the way you're framing the question and some of the other Republican candidates and even this president, to what degree is Iran dangerous? To what degree is Ahmadinejad a danger to the United States? These are the questions we do not ask often enough. Well, is he you know, a danger during to the Cold the War, US Ronald allies? Reagan faced down a military superpower in the Soviet Union with thousands of nuclear weapons pointed at us in our backyard in Cuba. Does Iran equal that sort of threat? No, not at all. That's what uh, President uh, President Paul, that's how he would handle it. That's what Congressman Paul is saying. We need to measure these things and have a sober, realistic, more prudent foreign policy that we've had in the past, not only because it's better for America's national security, but we can't afford to keep doing what we're doing. Okay, with, well, with Paul's uh, budget, we would still have the largest military in the world, four but times it, larger than China, Mr. and a larger Hunter, budget than when Bush had in 2005. Making, excuse me. Huge. All the points that you're making, right. apparently they're, they're resonating there in Iowa, but they're resonating with the young voters, the sure. independent voters, and the, the Democratic voters. So I ask you, how do you maintain the momentum that you have there going in Iowa? And perhaps because uh, Congressman Paul is a different candidate who doesn't think like the typical uh, Republican, uh, he doesn't, have, doesn't maintain the, uh, the uh, specific or traditional Republican position, how does he maintain uh, the momentum beyond, uh, beyond Iowa? And perhaps because he is different, maybe this works in his favor. I don't know. You tell me. That's, how you, that's where you really hit upon something. Ron Paul's been saying the same thing for decades. Why are we doing so well in Iowa? Why are we doing so well in New Hampshire? Because we've been doing the same thing. The same candidate, Ron Paul, that so many said couldn't get above 10% is now well above that in a front runner. And that's true across the board. What's going to be our game plan? To keep doing what we've always been doing. Honesty sells. The Republican grassroots, the voters out there, recognize integrity. Somebody who has a record to back it up. You know, watching guys like Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney argue over who's the bigger conservative or better 
conservative. It's sort of like watching the two guys in Millie Vanilli argue over <laughs> who's a better singer. Oh, it I does not hold water. I tell and you when what, they see Ron I Paul, they to, see consistent conservatism. I, I do have to leave it there on the Millie Vanilli note. Uh, Jack Hunter, thank you very much for uh, <laughs> sticking in with the discussion. Thank you very much. Good to be with you. Thank you.